H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. This is Priya here from H2K Infosys. And this is my email address priya at h2kinfosys.com in case you have any sort of technical issues during the meeting, you can call this number 770-777-1269. Okay. Now this is a software testing course that we are conducting. And after the completion of this course, you'll be able to work as a software tester. Now before I start, a couple of instructions to all of you. All the participants will be on mute. So in case if you have any questions, you're going to use a chat box. Whenever we are discussing something, you have to pay attention and once I'm done, I'll give you some time to ask your questions and also make your notes. And after this session, you will receive the materials and videos. Okay. So today's session is going to be on orientation. And in this orientation, we will have a look at some basic terminologies. All right. And also some basic concepts that are necessary for you. And then we'll have a look at the interview preparation and then I will give you the list of topics that we'll be discussing from here onwards because we'll be starting with the project based sessions now and also the contacts okay so today's session will be on the orientation all right So first we'll have a look at some of the basic terminologies and the basic concepts. So first of all, we have this operating system. Can you tell me participants, what do you understand by operating system and also give me the examples. All of you can use a chat box in order to respond to me and give the answers. Yes, can all of you tell me participants, what do you understand by operating system and also give me the examples of the operating system. Yes, operating system means operating system means it is a system software that will make your computer's hardware work and also you can install any other application based software on your computers. So without the operating system, your computer is not going to work. The hardware is not going to work basically. So when you go to the projects, all of you will be assigned with a computer on which you're supposed to perform the testing activities will be responsible to manage your system okay so once you're assigned with the system you will be responsible to manage your system in real time project so all of you have been using for using the computer most of you have been just using it for browsing sending the emails all right so now being an IT professional you should start understanding the system from the technical perspective okay so the moment the system is assigned to you in the real time project you will have to check its configuration okay you have to check the hardware software configurations of the system okay you have to check the hardware software configuration of the system and make sure that it is meeting the requirements as mentioned by the test leader in the test plan document. So in the test plan document, the test leader will mention what should be the duration of the computer on which you're supposed to do the testing. So here, for example, 
what kind of operating you should operating system you should have what are the different browsers and the different versions of the browsers that are to be installed on your system and then what should be the ram that should be present on your computer the hard disk space the type of processor and then what testing tools should be installed on your computer what database should be present and so on okay so the complete configuration will be mentioned here the hardware and software configuration will be mentioned here by the test leader in the test plan document so you have to go through the test plan document and make sure that the system that is assigned to you is meeting the requirements as mentioned by the test leader if not you will have to contact the technical support team of your organization technical support team of your company and get your system upgraded and while you contact them you need to take an approval from the test leader and then the project manager you have to take an approval from the test leader and project manager and contact the technical support team and get your system upgraded okay so the first thing that you should be able to do is here check the configuration of your computer so can you tell me participants how to check the configuration of the system yes can all of you tell me how do you check the configuration of your computer Yes, how do you check the configuration of your computer? Can you tell me, all of you? In order to check the configuration of your computer, now let's say if you have your Windows computer. In the Windows operating system, on the desktop there is a computer icon. So you can right click on that and then select the properties. You should be able to see the details. Another option is you can go to the control panel go to the start and then you have the control panel there and from the control panel you should be able to see the programs and features wherein you can see the list of software applications that are installed on your computer if you click on the hardware the network or the system then you can see the hardware configuration of your system okay and if you have a macbook on the top do you see here on the top do you see there is an apple icon so you click on this and then you say about this mac you can see the details about your computer clear everybody now can all of you please check and tell me what is the configuration of your computer so let me give you a task here all of you please make a note of content on my screen first all right go through this if you have any questions let me know and also can you identify the configuration of your computer? Can you check and tell me what is the operating system that is present on your computer? 
and then what is the type of RAM? What's the type of processor? Can you check and tell me? Yes, all of you identify the configuration of your system. I'll give you four minutes for the task. Everybody can write your answers on the chat box. And also, if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay. Computer. Okay. So I can see your answers here on the chat box. All right. This is how you identify the configuration of your computer. Now, the next thing, participants, we have the next terminology here called as Windows Explorer. So do you see this is called as a Windows Explorer, wherein you can see the organization of the files and folders. And then we have the folder or a directory. So I'm sure everybody knows this. This is too much of basic, but still it is required for your QA course. That is why it is added here into the syllabus. All right. So folder or a directory means it is a group of files in order to organize on the system. And how do you create a folder or a directory? You just have to right click and then there is a new option. Select a new folder, write the name of the folder, which is a not duplicate one. And then the folder gets created. Then how to create the text files? So you can create the text files in the folder using the Microsoft Office or you can use um, the pages in the Mac or let's say we have the notepad, the text editor and so on. Now the next important one, what is a task manager? How to open the task manager? And also can you tell me what is the purpose of task manager? Yes, I think all of you have come across this kind of terminology. Task manager. How to open the task manager and then what is the purpose of task manager? Can you tell me all of you? And then the task manager in the MacBook, it is called as activity monitor. If you are a Mac user, then the task manager is called as the activity monitor. Yes, can all of you tell me what is this task manager or the activity monitor and then how to open it and also what is the purpose of this one? Yes, everybody tell me. What is the task manager or the activity monitor? How to open it? And what is the purpose? Task manager means it is a tool which will give you the list of programs or the applications that are running on your computer. Now, let me give you a scenario participants. All of you have been using the computer so you must have come across a scenario wherein you try to open some software and your computer suddenly crashes and it goes into the let's say hang status or it is getting stuck so can you tell me what you do in this kind of situation or let's say what you have been doing all these days in such kind of situation Yes, whenever your computer gets stuck or it goes into the hang status. Yes, what you have been doing all these days. Can you tell me? So when your computer is getting hanged or it goes into the or it is getting stuck you simply click on the power button and then you are restarting your computer correct most of you have been doing that right most of you have been doing the restart option you have been using the restart option in order to start the computer all right 
Now let's say this is your test environment means this is a computer on which you're doing the testing. So you have many tools that are running here in the backend, especially the performance testing tool. They are continuously monitoring the performance of the software sometimes for few weeks or let's say few hours and it has all the testing information here. Let's say you have the documents open in which you're recording the results of the testing that you're doing here, which is unsaved. So now while you're testing the software, it has a defect due to which it is not responding and then your test environment is getting stuck. It goes into the hang status. So now if you press on the power button and then you restart the test environment, what happens? No doubt your system will get recovered. But what about the tools that are running in the backend? What about the testing effort that has been recorded since many days or many weeks? What about the documents which are unsaved in which you have recorded all the test results? So all the information is lost. You'll have to again restart everything. Your testing effort of let's say two weeks, three weeks or a couple of days is gone. Okay. So that is why you should never restart the test environment without saving all the content over here okay see these are the basic things which nobody is going to tell you in the real time project they will not tell you please use a task manager don't uh, switch off the test environment like that they don't give you such kind of instructions because as a tester you are expected to know all this kind of basics okay so what is the solution now you have to open the task manager Okay, and how to open the task manager? There are different ways to open the task manager. All right. You can use Control Alt Delete. Or you can go to the start search. And there you can type the task manager. Or you can right click on the task bar. And you can start the task manager so there are different ways in order to open the task manager okay the most appropriate one that you're going to use it is the control alt delete all right the most appropriate one that you're going to use it is control alt delete why because when your computer is in hang status it is getting stuck your keyboard your mouse nothing might be working but these special keys will always work the control r delete so you press them and then open the task manager select the software that is not responding and then you can end the task all right so this is how you can use the task manager in the real time and if you are a mac user you have the activity monitor which is similar to the task manager and how do you open the open this activity monitor there is a command button on your computer and beside that there is a space bar. So press on the command space button. Then there is a spotlight search that will open wherein you can type activity monitor. Okay. So this is how you can open the activity monitor in the, in the MacBook. All right. Clear everybody. So you can go through this participants. Let me know if you have any questions. Yes, all of you, please go through this. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll wait for two minutes. Can you give me the examples of the different browsers? Yes, what are the browsers? So we have the Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, okay. And again, whenever it is a web-based application, you're supposed to check the compatibility of the software with the browsers because in the real time project, we have the different users who will be using the software and then they might access your software using the different kind of browsers. So we have to make sure that the software is compatible with the different browsers over here. Okay, so you have to check the compatibility of the software using the different browsers. Okay. So these are some of the things that you had to understand as a QA before we start with the project based session. 
Now, from the next session onwards, participants will be getting into the project based sessions, all right. And for that, you will require the Microsoft Office to be installed on your computer. So, make sure that it is available. Anything from the version 2007 onwards would be fine. If you don't have the Microsoft Office, there would be alternative for that open office or you can use even the google drive okay so i will show you how to write the test documents like test cases and all using this microsoft excel all right so please make sure that it is available on your computer Now the next important thing participants regarding the interview preparation so interview preparation is not something which you're going to start after the completion of the course but you have to start it right from the beginning okay and we have created the forums so i guess all of you have your facebook accounts you have the social networking site i mean you are the part of the social networking site can you tell me what is the purpose yes what is the purpose of your facebook why do you use it Yes, what is the purpose? Yes, what is the purpose of your Facebook? So all of you have your Facebook accounts, right? Yes. Yes, tell me what is the purpose? It is to interact with the friends and relatives to stay in touch. That is one thing. And then you also have the Facebook groups wherein you can get in touch with the people who have the similar interest. You can have the discussion on your interests. And sometimes if you have any kind of issues, you can also post your questions or the problems and then people will give you the suggestions. Okay. So basically it is for the interaction and then, you know, sharing the information and all that. All right the networking basically so now you're going to be an IT professional you should be a part of the technical networks all right and that is why we have created here the H2K Infosys forums to begin with all right and later you can also create your um, accounts or profiles in the other social networking sites like you have the forums from the Microsoft company, HP company, IBM company who are the major vendors of the testing tools. So you can create an account there and then in case you have any sort of issues, you will be able to get the assistance from the technical people over there. All right. So to start with, you can get connected with all, uh, all the people here in the session and also the other candidates of H2K Infosys on the H2K Infosys forums. And in order to be a part of H2K Infosys forums, first of all, you'll have to register yourself. Very simple steps. You just have to drop an email to H2K Infosys for the registration in this forums. And make sure that you don't share your personal information here. You can have any sort of technical discussion and also in case you have any sort of vacancy in the project so basically you can also help each other to get the job so how to be the part of this forum you have to write an email to training at h2k infosys.com and then in the subject you mention Forum registration.
Priya QA, 7 p.m. Eastern Batch. And then press on the send button. Send this email to H2K. All right. There is no need to write anything in the message part. You can just send the email to H2K Infosys with the subject line. Test documents means Daniel, the documents that are prepared by the tester, for example, test plan, RTM, test cases, all of them are called as test documents. The documents that are related to testing. So I'll give you two minutes. All of you please quickly send an email to H2K Infosys right away. And in two working days, you should be able to receive the accounts with the username and password. Yes, you'll be getting a lot of assignments, Daniel, the class assignments and also the home assignments. Okay, now the next thing, participants, regarding your materials and then the videos. For the daily sessions that we are conducting, okay, you can find the materials and videos in the email. So we will send it in the email on the daily basis. You'll uh, find it and also module wise we will send but what about the additional reading so for this additional reading we have created the youtube channel and also we have the h2k blocks for reading so we have our youtube channel participants all right and then you can go through this youtube channel wherein you can find lot of videos now why you have to do this additional reading and what exactly you have to read during this additional reading so basically since you're going to be an it professional you should know the organization of your project means you should know what development tools are being used in your project who are the other people in the team what are the different technologies that are used in order to develop the software so you should know your project environment I'm not asking you to go and learn some programming language or something but what I'm saying is at least you should know the names of the technologies like what is this Java, what is this J2E, what is this advanced Java, what is this .NET, okay. So at least you should know the names of the latest technologies and then the common technologies that are used in your project along with their purpose, okay. So this much of basics you're expected to know, all right clear participants and here we have plenty of videos that we have uploaded whenever you get time you can go through these videos and then you can do your additional reading okay so by the time your interview gets scheduled you have a lot of time because your course is just started all right so if you go through at least you know two or three videos every week then you'll be ready for your interview by the end of three months okay so that is why we have uploaded or we have created many videos over here. What you can do is, I'll give you the link. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can watch the videos whenever you get time. Okay. Based on your interest, click on any video, go through it. And then it has some new technology that you could understand. For the QA, you need not go through this, Daniel. For the QA, we will share the materials and videos to you in the email. I'm talking about the other technologies here, okay? So I'm talking about the other technologies over here. The QA videos you'll anyways get in your email, okay? So what you can do is participants, I've sent the link here on the chat box. All of you, please click on that. And then you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay. And apart from that, in case if all of you want to get in touch, if you want to have the technical discussion, we also have the Facebook and Google groups. All right. I'm sending the links on the chat box. You can join there and then have the discussions with each other. Yes, whatever you're getting in the email, they are the videos for your regular classes. After the session, you have to go through them for the revision purpose. See, just attending one hour session and then, you know, thinking that you'll be able to do everything. It may not be possible. Basically, you'll understand everything, whatever I'm teaching here in the class. All right, because we have 
uh, kept it that simple but at the same time you should be able to remember the things right you should be able to catch up the technical terminologies that are related to the software testing which will be useful for you during the interview for that the only option is revision revise as much as possible after the session even though you have understood everything go through the videos once more revise practice the testing tools practice the test case documents okay and then you will be ready for your interview okay yes macros uh, marcos i will send all the materials and videos in the email all these links also i am going to send it to your email today okay everybody is done did you subscribe to our channel okay now the uh, now the next thing participants so since we are going to start with the projects from the next session onwards so i would like to give you the list of what topics we are going to discuss as a part of the course already this information is available on our website i'm not sure how many of you have seen it okay so we are going to start with the manual testing from the next session onwards and then we have the quality center quality standards sql unix and linux and then automation testing and right after the automation testing your resume preparation and mock interview sessions will start so you need not wait till the completion of the course after the automation classes itself we are going to start with your resume preparation and mock interview so that you have sufficient time to do the preparations and all the other topics like web services testing etl testing mobile application testing and then the project based sessions will go in parallel with these topics and then for this sdlc and testing basics we are going to conduct a separate session during the weekends all right wherein you can attend these sessions and then understand the basics when it will be conducted i will be sending you the email later maybe the next weekend we will do uh, these basics thing and then from the next session onwards it will be the manual testing okay and participants do you see we have the different people here whom you can contact throughout the qa course i will be your batch faculty so if you need any kind of assistance that is related to the training please do not hesitate write me an email it might be a silly thing you might not be able to understand the simple things because you are from non it background you are not able to catch up with the sessions you miss any of the sessions you need the schedule you didn't receive the materials and videos whatever could be the issue you need to communicate okay because on the other end i cannot predict what is happening here all right so you have to tell me if you have any kind of issues or if you need any assistance please ask for it write me an email okay sometimes you find that it is too fast it is too technical you you are not following the things all right so don't hesitate fine write me an email and i will help you then we have the training coordinators who can help you with the billing and training related issues so you can even contact our h2k team even they are available to help you we have a separate technical support team who will do the installations on your computers um the testing tool installation whenever we are going to conduct it and then we also have the placement team who will help you with the resume preparation and then the mock interview sessions all right so we have the entire team set ready here in order to assist you you just have to ask for it okay so whatever assistance you need please talk to us and write an email and these are some of the instructions that you are supposed to follow during the qa course i'll give you a minute you can read all this information here on my screen okay um sandeep you have to send me a reminder mail to don't write your email ids on the chat box and during the session participants make sure that you avoid the questions that are related to your materials videos or the schedule i didn't receive the material i didn't receive the email so don't write such questions on the chat box send us a reminder mail okay and then we will respond to you okay so in the class make sure that you ask the questions that are related to the current topic all right so uh, you have to ask the questions that are related to the current topic which will be useful to everybody in the class manual testing is um i don't say adipti it would be all sufficient in order to just get the manual testing job because you know most of the projects these days they require the tool support they are using the 
testing tools in order to do the testing so as a QA, if you simply use the Excel sheet, write some test cases and execute the test cases, that would not be sufficient, okay? Even though you're applying for the manual testing job, you should know how to do the database testing. You should know how to use a quality center and so on, all right? So all of you are supposed to know the testing tools. Nobody uses the Excel sheet nowadays in order to do the defect reporting and tracking because we have very simple tools. They can also be developed by the IT company themselves in order to keep the track of the defects. Okay, so you need to learn the tools. Everybody is clear participants? All right then, so we are all set for the next session wherein we are going to start with the project based topics. All right. Okay then, so this was the orientation class. We will meet in the next session and your next class is going to be on Friday, I guess, right? Yes, so we are going to meet on Friday wherein I'm going to explain to you the testing concepts with a project-based example, all right? Okay then, so we'll close the session participants. Thanks everyone and good night.